Akash Shinsi, the real reflection of you. Today was one of those days where if I were to die right now, I would feel satisfied with my life. Now, don't get me wrong. It came with, today came with a lot of trials and tribulations and trying to figure things out and loads of emotions and um, peaks and valleys, really. And yet at the same time, I wouldn't trade that for anything. You know, it makes life living rich. It makes it engaging. It makes it enjoyable. And that's what I'm here to do. Is I want to enjoy my journey. Now, part of enjoyment isn't just uh, I love every single second of what's going on every single moment of the day. No, that's that's unrealistic. If If someone's like that, there's something... There's a screw loose, you know? Everything in my life is not always easy. It's not always uh, roses and clouds or, 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 or this type of thing. It's, there, there's some tough patches. And more often than not, what I find is that those tough patches are really just self-imposed, right? They're, so, they're just ideas, they're concepts that I have in the mind that um, are, are made up in one way or another. And, and more often than not, they're just based on preconceived notions, on prior exposures that I've had in the past to certain topics, whether that be uh, the, the classics, right, of, of health, wealth, relationships. And yet at the same time, it's that recognizing that until I have newfound understandings or um, new references or new ideas of what... Uh, new experiences, really, I'd say the best way to characterize it, of how to um, relate to these types of instances or these types of events in my life. Well, it's until then that I'm able to really get a new perspective and start to change my thinking. One of the books that I'm reading uh, right now is really gets into that. And, and this was a book, shout out to Brian Casella, um, uh, a book that he recommended, The, the Millionaire's Mindset by T. Harv Ecker. Um, and it talks just about this exactly, um, the, some, some of these concepts. So that's part of, that was part of my like daily reading today. I've got like, what, one, two, two books that I'm reading, and then I go through a bunch of other material, like four or five different programs. And some people might be like, what are you doing? You're overloading, you're getting sources from here, 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 here. How are you? Uh, you're not making sense of it, or it might not make sense um, to me. And yet at the same time that I find that perhaps, maybe, um, but I look for a varied source of opinions. I look for, of, of experts in all different areas to, to come up with my own conclusions on life. I'm not here to just take someone else's conclusions on life and, and assume that that's truth. Um, what I'm here to do is come up with my own conclusions on life and source from a bunch of different material um, and see what works best for me, right? I try it out. I see, hmm, how does a line of thinking work? Okay, interesting. Does that fit into my life? Maybe, maybe not. Let me try playing around with it a little bit. Let me try applying some of the things that this person's talking about. And then I see, does it work for me? And like I mentioned, there's certain things that do not work at all for me that I just, it doesn't, I can't relate to it or I find myself having a difficulty relating to it, right? It's not that I can't. It's that I just find myself having a difficulty relating to it or it's not aligned with my values, um, um, things of this nature. And so, for me, it's finding all of these things. I, I got to find this out for myself. And I find the best way of doing that is by sourcing lots of different material and coming up with my own conclusions on it. I'm grateful for those I have in my life. And that's another big thing that I've continued to come back to is just this idea of gratitude. Gratitude is everything. Especially in those moments where I find myself delving into these places where it's like, what are you doing, dude? Why are you thinking about things that... Um, are not happening right now and I'm projecting into the future like five years oh my gosh what if I don't have xyz or if I don't do the pay off this or if I don't see whomever this person whatever you know and it could be five years into the future it could be 20 minutes into the future but that takes me away from the present moment of what's happening right now and more often than not what I've been realizing is that it's what's going on right now the steps that I can take in this particular moment right now that's where all the magic happens it's not like everything changes just like that. It takes some time. 
it takes some consistent practice. It takes some consistent working with the self and taking it easy, not beating myself up for whatever situation I may be in, um, all based on my own choices in life. But rather, being more gentle with myself, stop stopping beating myself with a a bat with a nail through it you know it's there's no need for that because it doesn't get me anywhere and more often than not i i just look for even more subtle ways that i'm doing this you know so that's kind of where i'm at today that's what i've experienced and um while it may be sounding like a whole load of nothing um well that was my experience of the day that's all I can share. Keep up, thrive, and stay sexy.